So far, so good. <laughs> a little windy in these convertibles. My story is the story of a man who starts off at the bottom and with a bit of hard work, continues along the bottom and finally ends up at the bottom. Hey, this is Classic Cars and Comics. Thank y'all very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's roll. If you've followed my channel for any length of time, you know I love vehicles. I've got a 68 Camaro. I've got a 59 Ford truck. That was my very first truck I ever had. And I've owned a 37 Chevy and I've also owned a convertible 68 Camaro as well. So I'm sitting at work the other day minding my own business. I'm not bothering anybody. And my wife, my wife sends me this photo. She goes, hey, this car just popped up on one of the little websites on Facebook. What do you think about it? Does it look cool to you? I don't need any help making bad choices and decisions when it comes to cars. So what am I to do in this situation? So I'm like, well, crap, send me some photos because I can't get into the, to the website. It's one of those locked you know, yard sale websites. So I'm like, send me some photos. So lo and behold, later that night, what am I out doing? I'm out looking at said car, going over it with a fine tooth comb, saying, hey, this is a pretty cool car. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I've only seen one of these types of vehicles listed before, but, you know, it looks really cool. I've never owned a car that, that looks this old. I owned a 37 Chevy, but, hey, if little mama says that, hey, here's a classic car for you to go look at, what is a man supposed to do in this situation? Am I supposed to just ignore her, push her to the side, pretend like she didn't just open the door for me to go look at a classic vehicle? No, any man with any common sense is going to get keys, get a wallet, get whatever, and they're going to go look at that car because it's almost as as if your wife says, oh, and giving you the blessing to go out and look at said vehicle. So, it's dark whenever I get there, but you know, I had to get off work, I had to get up to this location, and I went to look at the vehicle. Now, in these videos, I'm shooting some videos so that my dad, he's not with me, and you know, y'all know, y'all seen some videos, he's my, like my right hand man on, on these old car videos. So this is, I've never owned a four-cylinder car. Now this is a 1981 Shea Roadster. I will get into some history uh, here shortly about exactly what that is, but it's a Shea, like what they call a Shea Model A. And it looks really cool. Um, but here I'm just sort of like giving some video and some details to my dad about Hey, this is what I'm seeing on the frame. Um, this is, you know, sort of what's going on, just to sort of set the stage for y'all. So this was a little bit of concern that I found. Now I should be able to get up in there, pull that out, just put some more, you know, square tubing in there, and patch that up. But it's obviously starting to rot through, and it's going to have to be fixed and addressed. Now, everything else to my untrained eye at this point looks good underneath the vehicle. There's some surface rust on some stuff, but overall, pretty nice. So I sort of moved my way to the interior, and I've never looked at one of these vehicles before, so I don't really know what I'm looking for. Just looking for major tears in the seats, um, damage to carpet. Like, there's some damage to this carpet. It needs to be replaced to make it look nice. But, you know, just trying to see overall what the condition of the interior is. Okay, here's a relatively cold start. That fired up pretty easy. He moved it from the barn earlier up here, so that started pretty easy. I'm gonna get up and shoot some video of the motor. Here is the uh, outside. time focusing but I went through first and second gear no issues 
other than learning the new, you know, deal brakes work pretty good. Let's see if I can maneuver this. Okay, let's get sidetracked here real quick. I had uh, already went and looked at this car, and then I had to go visit my brother. And lo and behold, I find two of them uh, sitting at a, like a used car dealership, more or less. And I'm sure anyone in this area has seen these vehicles. They know about these vehicles. They've sat there for quite a while, I believe. But it was just really cool to see two items, two cars of the exact same thing that I had actually been out looking for. So these ones have sort of been set out and let mother nature take, you know, hold of them, but it's fiberglass, it's not going to rust. So for the most part, I think these are all salvageable, but these are not something that I'm buying. I just thought they were cool and threw them in here. So prior to seeing these two vehicles, I already made a deal on the first vehicle that I showed y'all. So after I returned off a trip, I was able to go pick it up and this is my drive home with it. So I noticed that I got oil or something, maybe gas, maybe coming out. You can see it's leaked all the way down here on the running boards. And I'm assuming, because right up here would be my uh, carburetor and whatnot. I'm assuming that gas is coming out of that possibly. I definitely got some gas over here. I don't know about the other side. Yeah, nothing on this side, but definitely on the other side. Let's see if I can't figure out what's going on here while it's running. And you can see it's accumulating again right there. This is the only thing that's wet, so it's got to be coming off this. Maybe just some new hoses or something. This is the only thing that I'm seeing is wet. This wire right here. Oh, no wonder. I don't know what the heck's going on there. Yeah, I didn't get that fixed. You know, it is pretty, there's a lot of grease and oil, oil it would be on here. And I mean, there's something looks like it's leaked at some point up there. I, I looked at the brake fluid earlier. It was clear. So it's in at least good shape, but I mean, you can see how much, you know, stuff I got going on here. So probably need to get in here, get all this cleaned out, moved out of the way, get all this cleaned up. You know, put a chrome something on here, man, why not? But I think this is my uh, PCV valve that I need to uh, get in there and take a look at. Brakes, just pump the brakes. Ah, in the middle, yeah. Just sort of up and down and loosen, okay? I'm not seeing any leakage from the, at least not at this point. All right, just sort of rev the motor a little bit. Sorry guys for the rain in the background, but I'm on the driver's side right now. Okay, this says it's an FEV82, and I can still hear it clicking and clanking in there.
This is just a mess of wires. Okay, I replaced the PCV valve that was on top of here with this, and we're gonna take it out for a test drive. Okay, I drove for about five, well, about 10 to 12 minutes, I guess, and max speed of about 50. I don't have any oil down there yet, so the breather may have been the cure-all, but I don't want to jinx it yet. I need to get a little bit higher speed. Okay, sorry for the, there may be some wind. It's a windy day, but we're just going to look up under here and see if we've got anything going on. I have driven this car, took a small cruise with my wife and kiddo. I don't see anything up there that looks like it's leaking. Uh, nothing down here. Looks like it's leaking at the moment. Um, now I think this dipstick is broken, so I probably need to get, new, get a new dipstick, but I don't have any oil or anything down here so far. So y'all guys have helped me tremendously so far. Now I haven't been at the speeds that I was at yet the other day, um, 50 to 50, 55 might have been the most I've done so far, but I'm gonna drive it some more and see what we got. place breather is probably exactly what the doctor ordered uh, no leaks on the other side no leaks on this side which there wasn't any on this side the other day um, but drove real good to town and back um, we'll take a look at that other side but drove real good to town and back no issues no problems um, no oil leaks or Anything that I've seen so far. So we're going to hope that y'all's tutelage, like I said, has uh, bailed me out of a situation. I'm not very familiar with these vehicles at all. All I got is a dang old Camaro and 59 Ford truck. So that's going to do it for this video. In an upcoming video, I will clean it up get it looking as sharp as I possibly can, and then give y'all a full tour of the newest ride. Thank y'all very much for watching. Love you long time.